Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today we're quickly going to go through a procedure of what people refer to as programming uh, the fuel injectors on a BMW diesel uh, engine. So the customer brought this to me. He installed and replaced four uh, injectors and he wants me to basically code them to the uh, engine computer. So I will be walking through that procedure and show you what's involved. Okay, and so the vehicle in question is this uh, 2011, it's a BMW 335D, uh, the D stands for diesel clearly. And as far as what you need to do, so the main procedure is, so the injector is this, uh, you see that connector there, and then the metal hard line, fuel line, with the uh, nut that's the injector uh, obviously it's already installed and what you have to do is take those numbers that are written on the top portion so let's see if you see there the letter D is in David the letter A as in alpha 2 E K 5 H it's a seven digit number that needs to be basically written into the engine computer. And so you'll read that number on all the injectors, which I previously already did and basically wrote them down. And I will get you a shot of that. One thing I wanted to bring up because I've had issues in the past. So let's see that guy. Let me try to get you sort of zoomed in. So if you see that um, eight eight, and there's a line, and then the number one. So in the past, I've gotten confused with that line. If it was a number one, if it's a letter I, a letter L. Uh, and then you see after one E and it's that line again and then G. So what I've come to learn, it is a letter I. Clearly we have the number one there next to it and before the E. So we know the line's not going to be a one because they put that uh, little um, starting point on the uh, number one on the top. So uh, just to... A uh, piece of advice for you guys, if you run into that and you don't know if it's a 1, L, or an I, um, it is an I. Okay, and then you want to obviously write them per cylinder location in the uh, engine computer. And again, the customer did the first four, installed them himself. Uh, so this is what we will be writing into the engine computer. Uh, and it makes it easier if you write them ahead of time. Okay, and the tool of choice today that I will be using to perform this is I'm going to go with this launch that uh, I recently got. It's the Sea Reader Elite. It's version 2. It's geared, geared specifically for BMW, and it's basically a newer version of the uh, one I did a review on that had a lot of capability. So um, just for giggles, I want to go ahead... Uh, break this one out, uh, show the procedure of how to do the injectors where possibly here in the future or if you go uh, purchase one of these, you will now at home be able to do this or uh, as a shop just have an additional extra um, inexpensive tool that has capabilities to do this and can free you up uh, from tying up the bigger expensive tools. So again, not necessarily uh, that you're going to have to have an expensive tool. We'll be able to show you that these uh, uh, BMW-specific geared tools have the capabilities to do it. So let's go ahead and get into this and get these written. Okay, so let's, uh, let's key up the vehicle. Turn off these loads. And let's go ahead and start scanning.
Okay, let's do automatic. And just like the last one, this will show you your battery voltage, which uh, I might want to throw a maintainer on here. It's at 11.8. Um, so, yeah, let me pause this and get a maintainer on here. Okay, so we are in. Let's see, it's identified the vehicle correctly. Not sure, so, okay. Let's follow the steps. And just the one thing I have noticed, maybe I uh, could do a possible update, is the voltage display stays uh, on the, um, I noticed that with the last one, that the display will stay on what it first initially basically picked up, uh, despite the fact that we now do have the maintainer on, which should be up in the 13 volt range. I think in order to change that, we'd have to reconnect it and pick up the right voltage. All right, so let's go straight into special function. I'm sure, it's going to be on their drive. Let's see. Now, I'm just looking to see what else uh, it gives me the ability to do. So, it's got a lot of stuff there uh, related to um, diesel. So, but yeah, we saw the injector deal here. That's going to be this guy here. Okay, so obviously it wasn't in the first deal, but that uh, reset basically cannot hurt uh, since we'll be starting with new injector values. So, you know, we did the reset there. Uh, we are now in the correct adjustment uh, tab or function. And then, so these are the numbers that are currently stored in the, the DDE. And this is what you want to change. So we want to change one, two, three, four. So we want to enter. Oh, yeah, press F1 here. So for what cylinder you wish to, let's start with number one. Okay, <laughs> you gotta hit this uh, back button to drop the uh, keyboard down. So we'll hit OK if we want cylinder number one first. Input OK. Invalid, I think, because it had the uh, um, return spaces. So let's try that again and let's hit back. Okay, so you don't want to have. Uh, the spaces you don't want to hit return and increase the the that uh, screen portion where you have to write the number. So uh, just learning as I'm going. Um, enter new value for cylinder. Okay. Okay. Enter new value for the following cylinder. Cylinder one. So down here, this is where we'll use. Uh, what we wrote down. So let's see. All right, let's see. So now we'll hit OK. 
Do you wish Santa Valley's of another cylinder? So yes, we do. So we've got uh, three more to do. So we'll do cylinder two. Uh, hit back this time. Okay. Let's enter uh, that. Okay, let's verify. CTB5H. Okay. So, yes. Cylinder three. Interesting. This one has no number characters in it. So let's double check. Okay. And again, if if that uh, single line, if it's incorrectly input, it it'll write all the other ones, but kick out that one, and you keep trying, keep trying. Uh, until you get it correctly. Cylinder four. Let's hit OK. And so now that we've got the first four, uh, the ones that we need to write, we don't want to do any other cylinders. So we hit no. Now we hit F2 because you want to save those values. So it's asking you to verify if those are the ones that you want to store and those are the new ones we wrote in. So we want to hit yes. Okay, so we want to perform a terminal change. We switched it off. Now we hit continue. Okay, so obviously we switched off. Let's hit continue. So now we'll switch it on. So it's important to follow the correct steps. Press continue. So now it's going to show us what's permanently stored in there. And again, those are the values that we wrote in, which again means that it accepted those with the uh, that line, which means that character is an I. So again, in the past, I've had it reject the the one that was incorrect. Um, so, all right, looks like we've got them written. So continue, and now you want to hit end to end the procedure. And service function let's see all right so now we're back to the beginning uh, we'll hit back so there you go that has led us to you know quote unquote program or code the fuel injectors on the diesel BMW uh, with this uh, <laughs> very capable inexpensive tool okay so we let it sit for about a couple minutes let's go ahead and crank it up go um, and just for giggles let's go ahead and do um, let's do a health report now what this is it reaches out complete vehicle all modules reads them out and gives you a status of them okay so let's see uh, temperature power management so it, it'll bring up the module that has faults. This has four faults. And it lists all the faults out. Um, these are clearly nothing to do with uh, drivability, let's call it. And then next module, SRS, we clearly have airbag light. Customers aware of uh, for the seat mat. This guy here needs to be replaced. 
Uh, let's see. Right fault D. Okay, and then after all the modules that have faults, obviously, we're going to list out all the ones that did communicate and that are, you know, good and fine with no faults and the green check. So with that, uh, then you can choose to go into each module and do a little bit more investigation. Um, if you want to create a report, I, this is, I like this a lot uh, on that last one. Uh, it's very, very uh, convenient. So all you do is hit report. You previously have to install all your information, again, which I already have. And then you simply just hit share. And it'll send it to an email that you have uh, input it in there. And then you can uh, forward it to a customer or print it out, you know, attach it to your invoices, so on and so forth, or for your record. So um, I'm really liking these uh, inexpensive, very uh, convenient, easy to use, very capable uh, with OE functions and capability, uh, this line of the launch BMW tools. There you go. So I'll just send that. And then again, I'll have that for me to print, give to the customer. But uh, yeah. Another uh, job uh, completed with, from uh, this uh, C reader. And then once you're all done, or if you're done, uh, if you want to, you just hit that. Uh, top right, it's an exit, get completely out of your diagnostic scan, and um, yeah, that's it. Alright guys, so that's it on that one. Again, uh, this affordable, attainable tool has a lot of factory capabilities, and you clearly saw it was able to do it. Uh, again, I mentioned this one was the version 2, uh, slight differences, It obviously it's horizontal and the cable can be removed and it can be powered up on its own it doesn't need to be connected to the OBD and then the touchscreen it's a little bit more uh, responsive it's a better uh, accuracy maybe it seems to be a little bit faster so I'm happy with it it uh, performed the job I needed it to do today customers already picked up the vehicle He's good and happy. So that's all on this one. Uh, hope you got some info out of it about how the procedure is. And thank you for watching as always. And on to the next one.